Hello Glamers and welcome back to my channel and if you are new to my channel thank you so much for stopping by now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the notification bell for more upcoming DIY future videos. This DIY, I'll be creating a starburst entryway table with a matching hanging lamp using ping pong balls. If you would like to find out what I created, just continue watching. To start off, I'll be creating my entryway table and I'll start with using a cardboard box and a 22 inch hula hoop. Next, I'll take it apart from the connector and then I'll lay it flat on top of my cardboard box. Next, I'll use two large binder clips and I'll use these to hold the hoop and the cardboard on each side together. Once I was done, I'll grab a marker and I'll trace the hoop on top of the cardboard. The reason why I opened up the hoop and not use a full circle is because I want the back side of the table to lay flushed against the wall. Next, I'll use my box cutter and I'll start cutting over the line where I trace the hoop. And in case you're wondering, this will be the tabletop of my table. I repeated the same steps three more times and I cut a total of four. For the remainder of this DIY, I'll be using my strongest glue sticks. Next, I'll just take three of my cardboards and I'll glue them together. As you already can see, the tabletop will be very thick and strong. I'll use mask and tape to cover up any open spaces. And don't forget to follow me on my social media platforms, the link below. Next, I'll grab my long ruler and I'll draw two lines, one vertical and one horizontal. And I did this to find the center of my tabletop. Next, I'll be using this seven and a half inch half styrofoam ball and I'll take it and I'll place it in the center and then I'll use my marker to trace around the ball. Next, I'll add a generous amount of hot glue and then I'll place my ball in the center and I'll hold it in place until dry. Because this is the bottom side of my tabletop, I'll be applying one coat of white acrylic paint so the cardboard will not show through. Next, I'll apply a generous amount of school glue on top of the styrofoam ball and this will prevent the styrofoam ball from melting when it's time to spray paint. Next, I'll be using this strong metallic gold gift wrapping paper and I'll be removing the plastic and this also comes with a strong cardboard tube in the center. I will also be using this metallic silver punch bow and I'll be using the bottom side of the bow and I'll place my tube on top and then I'll trace it in the center using my marker. I'll be using my solder and iron to cut out the center.
here I'm just making sure the tool fits in the center because this will be the bottom base of my table. I took foam bore and I cut it to size to fit the inside of my punch bowl. Once I had a good fit, I'll seal the edges with hot glue. Once I was done, I took my bottom base and tabletop to a well ventilated area and spray painted two coats of metallic gold. I'll bring back my gift wrapping tube and I'll place it in the center of the styrofoam and then I'll trace it around. To cut out my circle, I'll be using this styrofoam cutting wand. Here I'm just making sure my tube has a snug fit. Next I'll be using gold glitter and clear school glue and I'll start by pouring the clear school glue on top of the styrofoam and brushing it around and then I'll sprinkle it with glitter. Also added glitter to the bottom base, giving it an umbrella effect. Also seal in the glitter with clear glossy paint. Next, I took 50 large skewers and I cut them down to 12 inches. I will also be using 50 2 inch ping pong balls. Next, I'll take my solder iron and I'll make a small incision hole on each ball and then I'll apply hot glue and insert my skewer and then I'll go back with the hot glue. I'll leave the pointy end to insert into the styrofoam and I'll keep repeating the same steps with each ball. Once I was done, I took it to a well ventilated area and spray painted two coats of metallic gold. For this DIY, you may also use Christmas ornaments. Next, I'll bring back my tube and I'll apply a generous amount of hot glue inside the styrofoam and also onto the end of the tube and then I'll insert it inside the styrofoam. I also apply hot glue around the edges. Next, I'll bring back all my inserts and I'll use the pointy side and I'll start pushing it into the styrofoam starting from the top. As I go, I'll make sure that they are two inches apart. I will leave the back side empty because this table will be flush to the wall. I'll continue applying my inserts into the styrofoam in between the spaces of the first row, one inch up and I'll continue the whole step until I get into the middle of the tube.
because the inserts do have a tight fit, it will be up to you if you would like to apply hot glue on each skewer. When reaching the middle, be very careful with the remaining inserts. Next, I use a sheet of foam board and I have a template of my tabletop. I'll be tracing it on top, but because the foam board is too short, I'll be using another piece to connect them together. Once I was done with the foam bar, I covered it with mirror reflection paper. I used glitter tape to cover the edges of the tabletop and I also glued my bottom base. For my hanging lamp, I'll start off with two 5 inch half styrofoam balls. I also spray paint them in gold and cover them in glitter. For my hanging lamp, I'll be using 51 and a half inch ping pong balls. I'll be using 50 of the 12 inch skewers. I'll be repeating the same steps as I did with my table with the soldering iron and the hot glue and skewers. Once I was done, I spray painted two coats of metallic gold. Next, I'll start placing my inserts eight and a half inches long and I'll start with four vertical and horizontal position. I'll continue with the rest two inches apart. Because this lamp will be hanging from the ceiling, I'll apply hot glue on each skewer. I repeated the same steps on the second one and I left the center of one of them empty. I'll be using these metallic silver cake boards and I'll be cutting two circles five inches each. I glued on single strips of gold diamond wrap around the edges. Next I took a large skewer and I'll be making four holes on each circle. Cut four inch skewers that I already painted in gold and I'll be gluing them on each hole. Next, I'll apply a generous amount of hot glue and then I'll stick it onto my half styrofoam ball.
Next, I'll be using this binder ring and I'll take my box cutter and I'll make an incision in the middle of the styrofoam ball and then I'll insert the binder ring. And to hold it in place, I'll apply a generous amount of hot glue. And to hang my lamp, I'll be using this plant hanging chain that I purchased from Dollar Tree. And for lighting, I'll be using one remote LED touch light. You may just place it in the center or glue it in place. This starburst and threw away table and hanging lamp turned out stunning and glamorous. This is a unique set and one of a kind. And what can I say about this hanging lamp? I'm just lost for words. And the cake boards that I use in the center gives more reflection for lighting. And what can I say about the beautiful lighting that will bring into that special room in your home? If you will recreate this set, be ready for all the bling and shimmering. The doll that you see on display is Belle from Beauty and the Beast and it's one of my earliest creations from my earliest YouTube days. I'll have that video linked below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy both DIYs as much as I enjoy creating them. Now don't forget I post new DIY videos every week. Like and share with family and friends and subscribe if you haven't. Comment if you wish. Turn on your notification bells for more upcoming future videos. I'll see you on my next DIY upload.